Hey, it's your girl Clar, and welcome back to my channel. So we have a new episode of what's going on to the to the beauty community, where we are going to tackle the relevant issues, controversies, and topics that was concerned or that was part or that was talked about in the beauty community, global, internationally, and of course here locally. So kung gusto niyo panood tong next episode of what's going on to the beauty community just keep on watching welcome to the new episode of what's going on to the beauty community for this episode we are going to talk about the standards of a beauty pageant or beauty queens with a substance and particularly miss universe so we are going to talk about beauty queens with beauty pageants right now with the substance or standards of a beauty pageant to win a beauty to win to win or i should say i in short uh standards to become a beauty queen we are going to talk about here and of course miss universe one pageant that we are going to talk about here is miss universe let's go with the beauty pa to win a beauty pageant you have to be a beauty queen with a substance this is now a relevant topic already kahit beauty community lang yan or what beauty community talaga number one pinag-uusapan dito beauty pageants kasi mostly sila yung makeup artists majority of them are makeup artists or hairstylists na nagsistyle for the beauty queens mga paandar kasi ang technology na ngayon ng beauty pageants or yung mga beauty queens before going to represent our country to represent our province in a national or national or international pageant may mga paandar na yan kasi noon wala pa yun Ngayon, kailangan mag-update social media. Anong preparation na gagawin mo like that? Then, they are beauty queens nowadays ha have to work with a certain advocacy na isusupport na susuportahan pag nanalo ka, na susuportahan ng, ng pageant or organization na ito throughout your entire year. Kailangan may substance ka, hindi lang puro ganda. Kasi, doon sa Trump era ng Miss Universe, I noticed na Trump era ng Miss Universe, puro ganda lang. Ganda lang, walang, walang substance like that. Yan yung, yan yung yan standalone ng beauty pageants noon. Now, the beauty pageants or beauty beauty pageants nowadays, naghanap na sila ng girl with the substance na na, na, na kailangan supportahan or ag, ng, ag, ng advocacy nila whether it's a social issue social issues talaga mainly parang miss earth regarding environmental issues miss international pareho na sila ng ano ng miss universe and miss universe right now is same with miss world na beauty with a purpose may beauty with a purpose na susuportahan ito pag nanalo ka susuportahan na ito for a year and that causes in the different era ng miss universe so miss universe yung pinili ko dito sa sa episode na ito. Kasi Miss Universe has opened a lot of doors. Has opened a lot of doors and topics that are relevant right now in the beauty community. So, akala nyo makeup, puro makeup, cosmetics, beauty community regarding cosmetics, skincare issue, pag-uusapan natin. Well, we are going to talk about the pageants or different society issues na rin sa series na ito. So, in different years in Miss Universe, dun sa Trump era kasi, patsin nyo puro, wala pa kasi social media ng Trump era. Yung the way, na, nagpapanaya sila ng girls is, tipo lang na pang Victoria's Secret or, or model material yung pinapanala nila. Why I, ING era, yung era nila Pia Catriona. It's just like a baby step. Baby step sila na, oh, beauty queen with the substance na, yung hinahanap nila, hindi ka lang maganda, magaling ka rin kumuda, best speaker in the universe that you will represent the organization. Yan ang hinahanap nila. Tapos, nagsimula to kay ano eh, yung nag-boom sila, yung kay Catriona, kasi Catriona, Catriona Gray, set the high standard of, a Miss Uni of any beauty pageant na beauty queen with substance ang hahadapin nila. So, Miss Universe right now is finding for a girl who is, who has a substance that, who work with an advocacy for so long. Advocacy for so long, na ipupush, pag nanalo ka, ipupush through kanila 
ipopromote nila yung advocacy mo throughout your reign. Ganun na yung hinahanap ng Miss Universe ngayon. Especially JK and Ira. Maraming changes nangyari. So, of course, being open to the main society issues. Supporting different advocacies every year. Then, dito papasok yung bagong may ari ng Miss Universe which is si Kun An. I can't pronounce the surname and Jakarajin. I can't pronounce because it's complicated Thai Thai surname. Parang Thai surname. Hindi ko kaya yung mga complicated the Thai. She is the first ever woman, trans woman to own a certain, to own Miss Universe. Because previous owners are males. Of course, no, pumasok na si Andy ba? They are allowed trans women to compete or to compete on Miss Universe. Also, recently, they allowed married women, single mothers, single mothers to compete also in Miss Universe. That is a great move for a pageantry because no, no page, no any, not no any, actually no any pageants like Miss World doesn't do that because they uh, they want single person like that. They Miss Universe did that because they because mothers or married women woman doesn't have the opportunity to represent our country to represent a dream that they want to compete in Miss Universe. So, next one is age increase. Age increase, I hope that Miss Universe would stand this. Because, Miss Supranational, Miss Supranational had, had increased their age limit to compete in Miss Supra, like that. To, miss, to compete in Miss Supra. I hope that Miss Universe would do that. Because, there are many girls from each country that are over age from 28 years old doesn't have the opportunity or to show to everyone to show to everyone that they they are deserving to compete or to compete or to compel their dream to become a Miss Universe. Actually, mostly girls nowadays, mostly girls nowadays are dreaming to become Miss Universe. And one thing's for sure, be the community always supports Miss Universe because of the advocacies or the vision and mission of the organization itself. So, this is just a pre-topic for Miss Universe in this episode because because we are having Miss Universe season on November 18th. I am going to support Michelle Marquez D, our Miss Universe Philippines, for the crown. I hope she will win the fifth crown. And... Of course, they, we are crowning, we are completing, they are completing right now the roster of 2023 that will fly to El Salvador on November 18th. So that's it for what's going on to the beauty community, our episode for today. So I just want to say thank you guys for watching and I hope that I will see you again on the next episode. Bye!